And racing Homebush Misha a fear break. Hannibal Lichter gets out quite nicely. And Tasha Rama is showing good speed as well. Really good with slow, but starts to accelerate up on the inside to into third place and comes after these leaders. Back in the race then to Tagent. Trying to get around that would have been Boston Mona. They'd be followed uh, back in the field then by Good Time Garland. Ranger checker. Up they come and Hannibal Lichter's going to hold Tasha Rama. Really good. Did some things well, but some things not so well. It's run third. Boston Mona, I think, fourth. It wasn't much in that uh, when they crossed. Further back in the race, the Good Time Gal and Homebush Misha, the last pair Ranger Chick and Tagent. Racing, Legitimain gets out pretty well, and she said maybe was a bit slow. Getting out nicely too was a good time, Helen, and also charging up. Vinga Guapa between runners there to uh, cut steep as well. Get shuffled now, cut steep. They'll be followed back in the field then. Uh, we've got Fortis Memories trying to get around the outside, getting shuffled right back towards the rear. Buzzy as with Homebush here. Up they come. Legitimain in front, trying hard. Vinga Guapa. Legitimain lasts. Good run. Vinga Guapa got close. She said maybe got into third. They'll be followed across then by Fortis Memories. Good time. Helen was back in behind those runners, along with Cuts Deep, who got shuffled at the first bend. Homebush Errol back behind that too when they crossed. And one of the last ones home. Racing. Miss Softy flies out the inside very slow to go was Nick a century. Miss Softy puts four on them. Can she hold today? Homebush Sealy, a little vampire. Up and around the outside, Fortis Lion starts to chase down this leader very quickly. Also going forward, Big Fat Gypsy then gets checked badly as they come up towards the corner. In front is Miss Softy. Right down the outside, Fortis Lion, too strong. Fortis Lion, Miss Softy. Homebush Ginger got to third. Closer and then to Homebush Celia. And they'll be followed back behind those runners. Big Fat Gypsy got checked when it was trying to get into it. Nick a century. And a little vampire back when they crossed with Trojan Troy didn't have that in the call. And they race, and Allegro Max was slow. Members only gets out nicely, though, from Botany John going hard early. And now Allegro Max works into third and drops to the rail. Good time Mike gets around the first bend fourth. Botany Liz the inside. Followed well back in the piece by Fantas Fiction. Good way back to Icahn, and back with that was Botany Chris. Down the back straight they go, and running along in front is Members only. Allegro Max going inside, outside, not sure. Starts to run around the outside. Further back then to Botany John. Botany Liz back and behind them. Allegro Max gets around Members only and runs away to score. Allegro Max, Members only just second, I think. Botany Liz lunged at it, went a cracker. Botany John was fourth. Gaps back the others, uh, Fantas Fiction. Good time, Mike got a wee bit tired. Botany Chris was well back, and Icahn comes in at the tail of the field. Racing Cosmic Rask out well, but just you wait. Bounce to the lead. Carly Ray Rama going hard. Then Lola's Quest out wide with another plane back and behind them. Homebush Marlowe's back behind those runners with Miss Apocalypse and Blazers Corporal last. Just you wait in front. Starts to wander off a wee bit. Carly Ray Rama around the outside and Cosmic Rascal hunts the inside. Just you wait trying to hold Will. Tight second and third. Perhaps Cosmic Rascal the inside of Carly Ray Rama. Gets back the rest. I think Lola's Quest may have held fourth with that was another plane. Blazers Corporal back behind them. And further back to Miss Apocalypse and Homebush Mallow.
and a racing empty bank slow and crystal ghost was slower and best out here was run mischief run fireboy baxter's there early two and out wider to chelsea's beauty now what trying to get through on the inside as empty bank does starts to charge after this leader back in the field there we've got johnny angel working jewels got back as they swing the corner empty bank charges to the lead from run mischief run and fireboy baxter empty bank Beats Farboy Baxter just second, I think, there from Run Mischief Run. Then Crystal Ghost did well to recover. I think it got up for third behind those runners. Then to Chelsea's Beauty, Working Jewel was back behind those runners. Johnny Angel just never got into the race at all today. And Scarylicious back with it too. Racing and another hunter got out very nicely. Threw on the inside, said the Mopal King selection there early too, and also Speedy Feet, but she hasn't been able to cross or anything like it. She's going to be trapped wide around that first bend, getting back with her. Come get me. Uh, also, Opawa Lian and Thrilling Dylan too. And down the back they go, and Sidna Mopal opens them up by about four. Zem Addis Last starts to close. Then King Selection running the inside would have been that Come get me. Back and behind these runners to Speedy Feet. Another hunter's done with further back then to Opawa Lian. Up the corner they come. Zem Addis Last drives to the lead. going to get a deserved win. King Selection, a big run for second. Come get me third. Speedy Feats managed to get to fourth. Was okay under the circumstances. Thrilling Dylan behind them. Sidna Mopal got tired. Opawa Lian and another hunter. Racing contemporaneous out quite nicely there and going hard early was all the Coco and all about Amy getting reasonably handy. Homebush Bruno showing up early. Suso Socks was next around. Goldstone's got back today. Oh, uh, all about Amy went back on to uh, Suso Socks has been checked back to last just ahead of it. Opawa Jen and contemporaneous screams clear out by about four to five. Here comes all about Amy Goldstone around the outside. Then all the Coco back and behind them further back to Versatile Richie. Well back in the race then. Opawa Jen, Suso Socks no chance. Up to the corner they come and all about Amy sweeps on by. All about Amy contemporaneous goldstone pretty good run for third then we had versatile richie followed back and behind those runners then by uh, power jen suso sock she was unlucky around that first bend all the coco was well back uh, when they crossed with homebush bruno dropping out And they race. Corborn Crazy gets out fairly and Semantics gets onto the pace early too. Taikaria Lass and out wider. She's a terror bursts up and around the outside around that first bend. Come on, Mickey is midfield. Getting across to the rail there was Taikaria Lass has ended up with only two behind it. They are Gucci Rush and Lola Baxter. Down the back they go. It's in front to Sem Semantics. The outside to She's a terror. About three or four back there. We've got Corborn Crazy. Come on, Mickey's the next one around. Further back to Taikaria Lass and you know Charm. Up they come. Semantics in front. She's a terror. Won't go away, but Semantics Semantic sees it through from She's a Terror. Taikaria last to third. Corborn Crazy fourth. Behind those runners to Lola Baxter. Come on, Mickey. Out the back we had Gucci Rush and, you know, Charm. Jump set. 
Racing Corborn Air, he's just a fair break. Go Dolphin Power gets out quite nicely, and so too does a power Romeo. And into the fray, he's going to hit them off into the first bend. Uh, into the fray, gets around first there, giving chase was Opawa. Romeo, about three links back to Ginger Pat, runs to third. Then Corborn Aries. applause was next. They'd be followed back in the piece by uh, Sydney Jade, and a long way back the other two, and they are Go Dolphin Power with Coyote Courtier. Across the top comes into the fray, in front by a couple of links here, trying hard as Opawa. Romeo. Ginger Pat coming around the outside, and up the centre comes Corborn Aries. Into the fray, going to hold Corborn Aries into the fray, sees it through from Corborn Aries. Ginger Pat was next. Uh, further back in the race then we had Sydney Jade getting tired on it would have been no power Romeo and that'd be followed uh, back and behind those runners then. Uh, out the back was uh, Coyote Courtier and back with that too was applause if I hadn't caught it and go Dolphin Power. <laughs> Racing now, Miss Cool bounds out well, going out quickly too as Mega Upload to join it early. They'll be followed through by Vinnie Doon, pushing through on the inside. Boomerang Man's trying to get into the picture too. MacGyver Rama, gee, there's trouble here. Miss Cool's got back, and it's Boomerang Man trying to push through on Vinnie Doon. Vinnie Doon, Boomerang Man, out uh, centre track, 5k leg coming home. Vinnie Doon sees it through from 5k leg, and Boomerang Man and a coterie was next to go by. Gee, it was rough. Mega Upload found trouble. Miss Cool found trouble. And further back to Hermione Baxter and MacGyver Rama was on the pace too when the accident happened. Racing, Corborn Onyx just a fair break and Missy Sloy wins the break from Azure Dreams and Corborn Onyx drives hard the inside. Opawa gift back behind them, starts to run the rail. Good time, Kate's trapped out wide, getting through on the inside to working, working. Sean Baby's well back with Tongariro, round they come. Corborn Onyx driving hard the rail out wide of Missy Sloy. Corborn Onyx, Missy Sloy, Opawa gift third between them and a fourth the inside was working, working. Tongariro might have been the next one in. Back with them was Good Time Kate and Azure Dreams. And back when they crossed was uh, Sean Baby, if I didn't call it earlier. Racing Homebush Annabelle and Fantas Fever step nicely, then Corborn Bow around the outside here. Vinnie Baxter with big strides, backyard queen the inside, then exact master. The last pair here, Judy in disguise and working midnight across the top. They come. Corborn Bow's driven to the lead here from Fantas Fever. The outside of them to Homebush Annabelle. Corborn Bow scores. Fantas Fever just second, I think, from uh, there on the outside was uh, Homebush Annabelle and uh, tight in behind. We had Backyard Queen not too far away and uh, Vinnie Baxter was close up in the mix too with Exact Master and further back to Working Midnight Duty in Disguise. <laughs> Racing, sub Salentio, a fair break, but Kiribati Girl goes straight to the front and flirt with me as out handy early two, then Homebush Barabbas. Between runners there would have been Opehu Flyer. Uh, getting back on the race there, we've got Smash Magic's got around uh, Little Arthur, who's well back, and spat up the back is Sub Salentio. Up comes Kiribati Girl, trying hard, flirt with me. Ooh, Kiribati Girl, flirt with me. Home for third is uh, Homebush Barabbas, just from Morning Light, and they'd be followed back behind those runners then. Abide at Lather and Opihu Flyer Sub Salentio and Smash Magic. <music> and 
And a racing Google it to fair break. Nenna be good gets out well and hello L as well. And then the Google it is pushing through on the inside. Up and around the outside there would have been working pizzazz. Trouble back in the field. A uh, hill of grace. Flausk has got into strife and so too out the back now. Nina be good. Up they come. Google it out. Wide's in front. Google it will just get there from a working pizzazz. Close in there. Ameliorate might have grabbed third. Behind those runners, Alo L and uh, Homebush Toki wasn't too far away. And that'd be followed back in the piece then by uh, Hill of Grace. Nina be good. Got into trouble and has finished back at the tail of the field.